Hello guys, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects without any plugins. Let's get started. So, first step, let's create a new background. Go to Project and right mouse, New Composition. Add Composition Name. Social. And go to 3D Render change render cinema 4d okay back to basics seven seconds and black background color frame rate 25 and click ok then first step right mouse new and solid this is our background add name background and click ok go to fx presets search effect fill let's use this fill and Go to color, select our background color. Okay, this is color code. And click OK. Then lock layer and go to shapes. Select this wrench tool. And let's draw one shape. Okay, click selection tool. And change name box. Then back to project and right mouse, import, file, import or screenshot and click import. Then select this screen, move to inside this social composition and press S, change scale. Okay, move to here. Nice. So select this box and let's click this icon for third layer and this. Okay, let's hide this screen layer and select this box, open options and geometry options, change extrusion deep 10. Okay, then select this box and go to fill, select fill color white and go to stroke, select stroke color. This is color code, you can copy here and click OK. Then go to stroke and change width 1. OK. So select this box, press S, change rotation. OK, let's open again options, geometry and change extrusion deep. Nice. So, select this box again, press R and change rotation like this. Okay, nice. Then select this screen and unhide, press R and copy x rotation let's change minus 13 and y rotation 27 and z rotation 3 okay nice so select this box press s open scale and let's click this icon change scale okay nice Select this screenshot and move to right. Okay, then go to FX Preset. Let's search FX Drop Shadow. Select this Drop Shadow. Let's move to inside this screen and change distance and change softness. Okay. and change opacity 60 okay nice then close options and go to shapes select this ellipse tool and let's draw shadow click selection tool change stroke 0 and change fill color black click ok and change name shadow 
Okay, go to effect presets again and search effect Gaussian blur and select this effect used for this shadow. Change shadow blurness 40 and select shadow, press T, change opacity. Okay. And select the shadow, move to here. Select shadow again, change scale. Okay, not bad. So, select this box, press L, let's see. Okay, we can animate this object. Ctrl Z for back default rotations. And select this screen, pair onto this box. Then let's create new controller for animate this object. Right mouse, new and null object. Hold control, go to click this palm behind for move to anchor point center. Click selection tool and click 3D icon. Nice. Select this box, pair on to this null object. Select this null object, change name, controller. And select this controller, press R. Go to 6 second, press N. Select work area, make Y rotation. And go to first second, change rotation like this okay let's preview okay not bad let's select the shadow press s and click this icon go to last second make scale keyframe and go to first second change scale like this okay not bad Again, go to last keyframe and make X rotation. Go to first second and change X rotation like this. Change quality quarter and let's see full animation. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Let's go to project and select this social composition. Control D for duplicate. Let's open social composition again. And close these rotations. Change rotation zero. And select controller, press P, make new position keyframe. And select the shadow, pair onto this controller. Again, select controller and move to left. Then go to here and move to center this object. Hold shift, press R. Make rotation keyframes X and Y. Go to here. Change rotation like this. Okay. And select these two keyframes, move to left. Select all keyframes, right mouse, keyframe assistant, easy is. Okay, let's select this first keyframe, move to left again for height object. And let's see. Okay, nice, select these keyframes, go to graph editor, select this graph and move to left. Okay, not bad. So, thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!